Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX. In the last one, we finished off with the Latios and Latios missions, and we also uh, started on the Ho-Oh and the three legendary dog missions. And we also were uh, able to unlock the next main story mission, which we're going to actually unlock that now, just so we have that. So we're going to start talking to this Ekans here. I got KO'd in that dungeon. But what about Medicham? Hope she's okay. Oh, that was a she? Oops. I hope she gets to the end and gets my wish to come true. I highly doubt that one. Yeah. W what are you staring at? I'm having a hard time trying to make up my mind. Get lost. Huh? Wait a second. Maybe I shouldn't be wishing for a bigger lower jaw. I wonder if it'd be better if I could just coil myself tighter. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, you want to talk, buddy? Uh, what are you staring at, you? I'm having a hard time trying to make up my mind. Get lost. Oh. Never mind, I guess. I did read something about having to go to the message board for this one. Because this is actually for a different mission. This is to get the Wish Cave mission. But apparently he doesn't want to talk to us. So we're going to just meet up with him in the next day, I guess. But I did want to talk about one of the missions that I will not be doing. And I'm sorry for any of you who want to see me do it. There is no way I'm ever doing Purity Forest. I've sat there. I went through it a couple times on my own. I couldn't even get to... The farthest I've gotten is 44 floors with a Heracross, which I heard was really good. And I could not, and I mean I could not, survive. There is no way I can make it through this. Um... I might be able to make it through Wish Cave, since you can start with three Pokemon, as of what I've been told. and you st But you do start at level 5, but I do think I could probably make it through with my original team and maybe my original moves, if it lets me keep my original moves. Because the reason why Purity Forest is hard is because it actually changes your moves every time. I had different moves every single time I played as Heracross, so... I don't know how I would be able to get through it, honestly. But, we might be able to get through the Wish Cave, as I said, but we don't have that unlocked yet, so we're actually gonna go straight to the Lightning Field and start off with our Raikou mission. I'm pretty sure this would be Raikou. There's my ha hair across. Oh yeah, I'm out of items, aren't I? Hmm. Well, that's kind of bad. I could just show you what my normal build is. So my normal build consists of the X-Ray Specs, a nice, juicy... Where's my special band? There's a joy ribbon. I'm gonna need one of those. We're also gonna need a special ribbon. Wherever that happens to be. A special band. There we go. All three of those. And then I usually bring about... Nowadays I bring five perfect apples. The reason why I do these separate is because you can't easily grab all these items at the same time. I grab about... About 8 to 10 Oran Berries. For Reviver Seeds, I mostly bring my tiny Reviver Seeds. They're easier to get than the regular Reviver Seeds. And then I bring about like 2 normal re regular re Reviver Seeds. And then, since we're doing bosses, we should probably bring some items for bosses. So we're gonna bring like 5 to 6 Blast Seeds, I think. And then I think other than that, we can bring maybe... No, I want to save the all dodge orb for a different boss. Let's bring one... No. I'm trying to find something that might be useful, but... Maybe a quick orb. We'll do a quick orb. We can use that on the boss. And I think that's all we really need. I don't see anything I might need to bring. I'm going to bring my invitation as well, just in case we run into a mystery room. And other than that, I think we're pretty much fine on items. Maybe some cherry berries because of um, paralysis. I think that should be all we need. And then that's basically my build. I like to keep it simple. I don't want to bring too many items since I don't have enough uh, space for it. That's usually the case with some of my uh, builds. It's just because just I can't bring it. I'm not going to beat around the bush i'm gonna be very careful with my builds just because i don't want to restart all over again Ooh, there's 
couple bronze r r bronze Makahito tickets in my inventory. Sorry if I'm stuttering a little bit. It's just that I haven't actually got to record in the past like couple days, and this is actually still during my uh, technical break. It's just that my parents left the house so I can actually record. So, this is probably the only one I'm going to be able to do, though, because of that. We need to make it 30 floors in here, as what it looks like. And we already found the first one. But yeah, Celebi's Dungeon is definitely going to be skipped. Um, I'm 100% sure that we're going to have to do that one. And I'm so glad that I was able to find Mew. Because <laughs> that was a pain in the butt. It took me a while to do it. But I did get it as soon as... Okay, for a second I thought I got flung further than I wanted to be. We should be able to use Earth Power on Magnemite. So we're pretty much fine. Somehow it didn't one-shot him though, so I do need to be careful. Okay, so things won't be one-shotted on this dungeon. From me, that is. That's probably just because I'm using the X-Ray specs though. Since X-Ray specs actually doesn't do damage. But we were able to one-shot that Mary. So maybe we might be able to do something here. Uh, there's no way I'm going to drop my X-Ray specs. They're too useful for finding rooms. And they're also too useful just to get, just to know where enemies are. It's just too much information to not get used to. Since they did kind of like, kind of get me too used to the x-ray specs effect on the earlier dungeons. And you still get to have the x-ray specs um, effect on the, on the regular dungeon. So it's kind of like, hey, um... Well, if you go back to the old dungeons, you don't have to use x-ray specs. You can just use your old items that you used to use. Which I used to use, um, choice- or not choice specs. I used to use a form of, um... What was it? These... It was the crit ones, basically. I forgot what the exact ribbon is called. But I used it for just critting, since in games I like to build crit builds. That is nor normally what kind of build I would normally build in a game. So it's nice to... Ah, we got a Blast Seed we can't even use. Oh, Joy Ribbon actually leveled him up. That's the first time I've had that in, like, forever. Okay, let's see here. We're gonna throw this Blast Seed out of here because we can't actually use this. So that's just gonna be dropped, and we're gonna go and get out of here. Fifth floor. And also, um, originally the dungeon where we did the buried relic was actually going to be a two hour long video originally but i cut it down because i just felt like 99 floors of watching me just get through a dungeon was kind of boring because it's nothing changes for 99 floors basically so i kept in all the boss fights and i cut to where i had some problems and then once we actually got out of the dungeon so i might do the same thing i did with that for lugia for the Lugia dungeon, because I do know there is Lugia, and he's on a 99 floor dungeon himself. So we're going to be very careful with that, and I'm going to say that maybe we shouldn't make that one, ep like, just one big episode. I'm going to try and, like, see if we can add anything to that episode and maybe cut, cut around the edges so it's not too long. It'll be an hour-long episode. It probably might be the entire dungeon. Like... As an entire dungeon, I should explain. The entire episode would be about the dungeon, I should say. But I don't want to sit around and just walk around 99 floors. And <laughs> keep you guys here too long for that kind of a thing. Because I actually started dying of a... Uh, not dying, actually dying, but... I was, um... My room's really hot lately because my AC's not working uh, like it used to. So, I've been basically recording in a 90 degree room with no kind of uh, fans on because my I turn off my fans so they don't interfere with the audio because that's how uh, my old videos were. And also, I need to get rid of this Electric. I'm done with um, him hitting me. Get out of here, Electric. But as I was saying, I, I used to do my old videos um, the same way. But I didn't know how to get rid of any kind of, um, like, fan noise. I'm, I'm able to do that now because I figured out how to do that. But it makes the audio sound weird when the fans are on and I record. So, 
I'm just gonna say that I'm gonna keep it the way I'm doing it normally. But just so I don't have to suffer while trying to record because it's basically suffering at that point. And I'd like to have my fans on if I could. So honestly, um, that episode might sound a little different. That's probably going to be... There's the item that I was talking about, the scope lens. I was forgetting what it was called, but that's the crit item that I used to use. But yeah, I just... If that... Depending on how that dungeon goes, it might be cut up a little bit. I might do, like, the first... Let's see here. We did the first 40 floors for Muse Dungeon and then started skipping around to the end. So I'm going to say if anything notable happens in between the 40th floor and the 99th floor, I might add it to the video like I did with the previous one. I think that's how we'll do it. But so far, so good. This dungeon's actually really easy so far. It could be because I am a ground type and I don't have to worry as much about these guys because they can't really hit me. It's just they can hit my allies and that is a flaffy. You know what? I already have an Ampharos because I got a free Mary and I evolved it pretty much instantly because of um, how fast the um, the allies in the um, the rescue team area level up while you're dungeoning. So honestly, you know what? We'll just keep one just so we have an extra unit. And also, I'm gonna eat my perfect apple now because we're already because we stepped on two hunger traps. We're actually pretty much already out of uh, hunger already, which could be bad, but we'll be fine. We just got to find our way through here. Hmm, there we go. There's the next pair of stairs. Hello, Flaffy. Nice try, though. Okay, I'm going to say let's go left. So far, so good. Looks like we got to deal with a Pikachu and a Jolteon, but that's not the hardest thing to deal with. And Kraken did a nice level, too. 59. We're actually getting really close to being um, a really high level team. And I heard that once you're actually higher leveled, um, it's easier to recruit units the higher level you are. So we might be able to get some pretty hard to get units eventually. I do think there is some units on some dungeons that are unrecruitable. I don't. I just don't know which ones. I'm gonna guess the Salamance in the uh, Sky Tower would be one. That just makes sense to me. Because it's really early to get a Salamance. But once you get to like further dungeons, I could see that being a thing, honestly. And there's the stairs talking about trying to find them stairs. Wait, you can hit him from there? Really? Huh. I did not expect that one, and that went right through that Flaffy. I swear. Wait, why can't I hit the Flaffy? It's saying failed, even though it's... Ob oh, that's our Flaffy. I am, um, uh, wow, I am rusty. I am indeed rusty. I did not even notice that that was our Flappy, and why is there a Cacturn on this dungeon? Um, hello, random Cacturn. Go back to the desert where you belong. Okay, I won't say that again. Um, here, have a water pulse, leave me alone. Bye-bye. No pin missiles, I don't like... That was a seal trap. That could have been a problem. I'm gonna grab the training seal. Just so I have it. We're going to make our way slowly through here just in case. Uh, another Cacturn. We might be able to do some decent damage to it with our Sludge Wave. I'm really liking the Sludge Wave, honestly. It's a really good move. It's decent range. It hits multiple targets. And it's not just a one-hit attack. And it's really, really good, honestly. Cotton Guard. Hello. Um, Water Pulse. I don't care about your defenses, buddy. All of us are special attackers, basically, so... Honestly, I really don't care. I got Waterfall for my only damaging attack through your physical defenses. But honestly, uh, everything else is pretty much a uh, fair game for me. Another Cacturn. They're really common, aren't they? That's surprising. Very, very, very surprising. I really hope they, um... Talking about the Ekans that we that we keep running into from Team Meanies, I think they're disbanded, I think. Because we haven't seen Gengar in quite a while, but we have seen Metacham and Ekans together. So I'm guessing just them are together now. 
but hopefully when we come back to them, we'll be able to do more with their um, story because there is a mission for them that we'll eventually run into. And that Cacturn is really uh, bullying our poor uh, Flappy over there. Yo, KOE over there. Yeah, you are. You got rid of him somehow. Not sure how you did, honestly, because that sounded like a lot of damage and my evasive rhythm was going off like back to back. So I'm actually honestly really surprised you're still up and walking after that amount of um, hits from a pin missile. I'm pretty sure that was pin missile. Anything that's like multi hitting. You're still up? Jeez. How much. Jeez, how much health does some of the things on this dungeon actually have? That does not bode well for me, honestly. After after some of the um, the dungeons I've seen, I know how bad these these dungeons can get. So I'll explain Purity Forest for any of you who don't know, because I'm gonna explain why I'm not gonna do it. So the dungeon itself is actually a dun a uh, level reset dungeon, and that means you actually start originally in the fir in the original game. Based on my knowledge, you actually had to be level 1 was your actual starting level, and you had to build up over the course of the dungeon. And in this game, it might actually be harder than the original one. I'm not too sure yet. The reason why I'm saying that is because it was harder to recruit things in the original one. So they might have made it harder because you get more units, and that could be the, the case. But the thing is, that dungeon is just pain. It is pain back to back. You have to hopefully get enough levels to survive, for one. And you also have to hope that you get the moves that you want as soon as possible. So if you want like room hit like entire room hitting moves, you gotta hope and pray that you actually get what you need. Cause if you don't uh, tough luck, you're actually going to lose. You'll get hit by a multi-hitting move by multiple different types of Pokemon that might run into you depending on the floor and talking about multiple hitting moves knocking out things. Somehow that Flaffy is still alive. I'm going to use an Earth Power and get rid of the Cacturn just so we don't lose Flaffy right away. Flaffy is a nice meat shield. That's basically everything in the Purity Forest that's your ally is basically a meat shield. You throw them into the enemy and you hope and pray that they don't get knocked out and the uh, opponent gets a awakened status. And hope that the opponent with the awakened status doesn't actually have a multi-hitting move. That is also a problem. Um, I ran into a, um, I think it was a Meryl that had rollout and took out all five of my allies and I was the last one alive. It was not a fun time. It was terrifying. Jeez, I... When the, al when the enemies actually have uh, throwables, they're not fun to deal with, are they? I'm going to just throw on an iron spike and toss it at the Zampros. Deal with them right now. I'm not dealing with that. Out of here. Anything that wants to go down can go down for free. Here you go. You can have one too. You're still up? Here you go. Have another one. <laughs> That's what you get. But yeah, um, another thing I noticed. Every time I threw an item that wasn't a um, steel spike, I think it's called. I haven't ran into one normally other than that dungeon, but Steel Spikes go through um, no matter what, and they can't be caught, but they still can miss. But every time I would throw it in Iron Spike, a Geo Pebble, or even a Gravel Rock in that dungeon, the enemy would always catch it first. And then once they actually had the item, they'd toss it right back at you after a couple turns. It was not a fun time. All my allies got killed by... Uh, Either something I threw, or something the enemy just picked up during the dungeon and threw right back at me. It was a terrifying experience, if I'm going to be honest, because I did not know what I needed to do. Trip Trap made me drop all my items. Rude. Didn't even know that was that, what that did, because I ran into that during the Purity Forest. I didn't even know what that was. I'm like sitting there like, what is a Trip Trap? That does not sound like too bad of a trap honestly it sounds like either i'm not going to be able to move for a couple turns which that would be bad or i just had no idea what it would do honestly but yeah that was the worst case scenario is that it wouldn't let me move for a couple turns like uh sleep 
I do not need to be, um, have like a sleep-like status effect on a dungeon like that, which I have ran into. That is the best part. When you get confused and you, um, either you walk right into an enemy with a multi-hitting attack, that is the best part. Or, or, um, you eat, you eat pain, basically, and you step onto an, a, sleep, a sleep trap, and you, you literally wait for your death, basically. That is the best part. Or if you run into poison, you don't have any Petcha Berries, and you die of poison damage. <laughs> that is another part that you could run into in that dungeon. Um, can I fill up my belly completely? I wonder. I know you can get to 200. We can get to 165. You know what? It's worth it. It's honestly worth it for one apple. In a way. It's not, like, entirely worth it. It's just that I don't have to eat another apple for at least another 15, um, apple steps, basically. Could be worse. But, honestly, just... I do not know how people get through that dungeon. I've seen people do it. I saw one person, it took them three hours to get through that dungeon. I do not want to sit around for three hours. I... I'm sorry anyone that wants to watch me do that. Three hours is a long time. And that's even if I get through the dungeon. You can get to like the 98th floor and then fall. That's basically what could happen. That sounds terrifying to me. That sounds like um, me losing everything in a literal instant. And maybe crying afterwards. I think I would actually cry at that point. Who should we give this life seed to? Oh, look at that. Me and Kraken actually have the same health. You know what? That means I have lower health, so we're going to actually throw that on me then. Um, actually, we should probably pick up this again. Yoink. Okay, let's see here. Who's coming this way anyways? Hello, Electrode. Here, have a nice waterfall. Leave me alone. And get out of my way, buddy. So far, we don't have anything that's really terrifying. So far, like, it's just status effects, it seems like. And they can't really do status effects to me. As for- Oh, apparently they can. You know what? We're fine, though. Per paralysis isn't the worst thing. Because I can easily deal with it. Because I could just walk around and my allies will eventually attack. It's not like I can't do anything. Because if I'm asleep, that's when they don't attack. But if I'm actually moving, they actually do. So it's honestly not the worst status effect there is. It might slow me down, but... Uh, he's spamming Discharge. That's the first time I've seen that. Usually they don't spam multi-room hits. Weird. Unless it... Maybe it has to hit the uh, target Pokemon in the front. Maybe that's the case. I actually never did any research on that. Because originally, in the original games, they, would, they don't care about spamming. But... That's weird. I did not notice um, that they can still. So it does look like maybe it has to hit the lead Pokemon for it to count it. Or you have to be... I know you have to be more than one uh, away from the Pokemon. Because it'll actually prioritize um, like moves that are like right next to it. Like Tackle or Zap Cannon. No, not Zap Cannon. Volt Switch. Volt Switch. Like, moves like Volt Switch and Tackle is what it will pr prioritize over anything normal. Like a Ember or something like that. Say if it was like a Growlithe. Because I've seen, I ran into that and I've noticed that they'll stop using super effective moves as long as it's like, if they're forced into your range, basically. Which is nice. I do like that. That saved me a mult, that saves me multiple times. Honestly. Anything that's um, Ember-based usually is something I'm usually afraid of. And ever since I figured out that strategy, I haven't had to really worry about it as much. Unless I was actually cra uh, Kraken walking around. That's the only time I would really have to really worry about it. Because sometimes I do swap, swap into him. Because you can actually use the ally's belly to your advantage. Because... Thankfully, I found out a little trick with that, because if you swap into your ally, you don't have to worry about your belly going down. 
and that's honestly really helpful if you didn't know it beforehand. Hopefully you don't have Levitate. Okay, I wasn't really sure for Mag if uh, they would give you Mag... Um, not Mag... Mag yeah, Magneton. I was thinking Magnezone's name for a second, and I just forgot Tropius is a flying type, and I tried to go for that kind of a move. Um, that was very stupid. I can't use ground type moves on a flying type. I completely forgot that you were flying type. Mostly because you don't run into Tropius every day. The only time you ever run into Tropius every day is if you randomly run into one on a dungeon, and you're grinding out the dungeon. And I'm, the reason why I'm saying that is basically I'm talking about normal Pokemon. I've ra I've rarely seen normal Pokemon or Tropiuses on normal Pokemon teams. That's why I'm saying that. Because honestly, I don't know if Tropius is actually really that good in a team. I do know the oh yeah yeah four times weakness to ice. That wouldn't be too good. And then you have the fire weakness, and fire is very prevalent. Yeah, it really wouldn't be the best Pokemon to bring with it. Grass types are usually aren't the type of Pokemon you would want to bring on your team, depending on the grass type, of of course. And you also have that new grass type that's coming out, uh, Zarud, I think his name is? I think he's Grass... Grass Dark type, I think? Um, that's actually a good question. I forgot what typing he is. But he looks pretty cool, honestly. I do want to go see that movie when it does come out. Because it does look pretty interesting. It kind of has like a Tarzan feel to it. And it does look like it'll be a good one. Usually Pokemon movies are pretty good. Depending on the ones you see. Especially um, Wish Ma I think it's called Wishmaster. It's the one with Jirachi. That's my favorite one. I've always liked Jirachi ever since I watched... Er, ever since I saw that movie. Um. Ooh. Waterfall does some decent damage to you. You know what? We're going to keep on with the waterfalls then. Never mind. That one wasn't as good. For a second, I thought it was going to always do that kind of damage. I'm going to throw a um, Orinberry on Kraken just so he has some extra health. I do like how you can raise your health with Orinberries in dungeons, even though it's just for a little bit. It's honestly really helpful. Oh, Manetrix are on this dungeon. How much damage do I do to you? 210. Not bad. Not bad at all. There's a Raichu behind us. Don't know how much damage that thing's gonna do to us. But that's a free starter if we can get one. I'm not gonna deal with it right now. We'll probably run into one later in this dungeon. Because we do still have seven floors left and that Raichu actually turned around. That's weird. Did it somehow see me? I hope not. If it saw me somehow, that's... He's got some really good vision. Hmm... Saw me through a wall. I also found out there's a really good scarf in this game. Ooh, that could hurt. Whew. Leaf Storm is not something I want to be hit by too often, if I'm going to be honest. Ooh, Spinda. I'll take a free Spinda. You know what? We'll definitely take a free Spinda. That's the first one I've seen. Dropping a pretty box. I do not need that. I'm grabbing the Spinda. We're getting the Spinda out of here. This is the first one I've seen. And... We didn't recruit the Spinda that came to our base. He is Bargain, and he comes with Mount Green. Okay, good thing we have Mount Green. And we can definitely take Bargain and Trip Trap again, of course. Let's grab all my items and make our way out of here. So far, we're not at the stairs yet, but this area doesn't look like it's going to be too hard to find them. And the reason why I'm saying that is because it looks like it's literally left or right, and if you find it on either side. Um, I'm gonna grab this Max Elixir, though. Or Ether, I should say. Because we might have to bring our stats back for, um, our power points. We, I'm not too sure yet. Mostly because I don't know how much harder the dungeons are gonna get. They usually do refill me, but if it doesn't refill me, we're just gonna be careful. Just in case if we run into something bad. I do know we're going to run into Raikou very shortly, though. We're only a couple more floors left. We just got to get to the 30th one. And that's a good thing. Because that means there's only one left. And that would be, I guess, we would run into Suicune next if that's the case. So, let's see here. 27th floor. So far, so good. I'm not too stressed, but I... 
I'm a little stressed because I don't know if we might get knocked out somehow. I don't, I don't know, maybe I might run into a sticky trap that stickies all my tiny reviver seeds or something. It makes them useless. You never know. You can always run into something bad out of nowhere in this game. So just in case if that does happen, I'm going to be, be playing it very safe. Because I do not want to go through this dungeon again. Maggie 57. Like, I mean, like, I don't want to start from the very beginning. If I beat the dungeon and I come on and come back in in my own accord, like for a rescue mission, I definitely will. But I just don't want to start from the beginning again just because I'd rather not. If we can make it through a dungeon first try, I would love that, honestly. And then it's the best case scenario because that means I can get this to you easier and I didn't have to literally rack my brain around until I figured out how to get out of here. And that's a max ether we can't even drink. Hmm. Oh, hello, Minetric. Um, what are you doing down in that hallway there? Here, have a waterfall. Um, leave me alone, please. Okay, let's see here. Where could the stairs be? This looks like it's going to be a harder stair to find. There, we can't use earth power because it won't hit Tropius. So I'm not going to deal with that. And we're just going to wait for Tropius to come over here. Sludge wave. And our allies should be able to deal with that. Okay, they were. Stairs aren't here either. There's a lot of traps on this dungeon as well. Something I'm noticing. Hmm. Let's see. Stairs. Nope. No stairs, but I don't have to worry about Raichu hitting me. Raichu's electric type. I'm ground type. I'm literally safe from pretty much anything that could attack me. But my allies m aren't as safe. Particularly, they, they'll be able to survive. It's just that they will take damage. Unlike me. Depending if they have tackle. They could have tackle or quick attack, see? So they still can attack me. It just depends on which ones I run into. Most of them are going to have thunder-like attacks. And it looks like we got rid of everything except for the sleeping one. Like, yep, there it is. It's a Tropius. Confuse one. Don't need it. I'm going to take the pokey and I'm going to run for the stairs. Let's get out of here, shall we? Yep, I was right. It is Raikou, so the next one will be Suicune. Why? Why have you come? This is the lightning field. It is my domain. I am Raikou. One who races with lightning. A body with, like, rolling. Rolling. Roiling? That's a weird word. I didn't even know that was a word. Roiling rain clouds. A roar that echoes thunder. Many have trespassed upon my domain. But what became of them? Let me demonstrate. And you too shall experience the pain they suffered. Eh, you can try, buddy. I'm literally, um... Probably not gonna take any kind of damage from you, buddy. But you can definitely try. Oh, you got discharge. Oh, um... Crack in here, have a cherry berry. Good thing I brought some of those. Reflect. So he's gonna be good against physical moves. Um, particularly, I don't mind that. But I do have some blast seeds for you. Here you go. One... I'm not going to use all of them. I'm going to probably use maybe like three at most. Actually, we have earth power. Let's see how much damage this does. It missed. Of course it did. I wanted to check how much damage that would do. It looks like we're doing decent damage. So maybe we don't have to. Um, ooh. Good thing we grabbed the Spinda. He has hypnosis. And we do 122 damage. Uh, Flaffy, if you go down, it's your fault, buddy. I really don't mind that one. Already got one. I'll keep the Spinda, though. So don't get yourself knocked out. Extra sensory. Ooh. That's fancy. Here, have another Earth Power. I'm just gonna... It looks like we don't have to use Blast Seeds on the Raikou. We're doing 100 damage normally. So we're just gonna keep from doing that. And this Spinda is doing work. This Spinda is an MVP, basically. Good job, buddy. Good job. Honestly. This poor Flaffy's gonna end up knocking itself out at this rate. Please don't hurt Spinda. No, buddy. Here, have a tiny reviver seed. Get back up. <laughs> nice try, Raikou. Right, you gotta take out the Flaffy. Take more damage, buddy. 134. Discharge. Sadly, that didn't hit. Thankfully, Flaffy's not using takedown anymore because takedown was actually severely wounding it. 
So hopefully, it probably actually has like one more health left, let's be honest. And down goes Raikou, that was really easy. So he didn't have to use anything special. Ugh. How dare you? How? How did this happen? Regardless, you have won. Let me hear your wish. Okay. Um, please do something with this clear wing. Hmm, this... This is the red wing. You. Stand back. Okay. Also, if you're wondering why I'm doing that kind of a voice, because I think he would have a higher pitch voice due to all the electricity um, flowing through him. That's the reason why I'm doing a higher pitch voice for Raikou, if anyone thinks that's weird. Raikou's Thunderbolt electrified the Red Wing. That's really cool looking. The Red Wing transformed into the Sunset Wing. Its subtle graduation of yellow to red is a truly beauteous sight. Beauteous sight. Yeah, it does. It literally looks really cool, honestly. I like that art style on that. Go northeast. To, to a place called the North Wind Field. You will find a Pokemon there named Suicune. If you're lucky enough to meet Suicune, perhaps you wish your wish will come true. Team Sentinels received the Sunset Wing and gained access to the North Field Wind Field. Okay, we'll definitely head there next to fight off with Suicune then. Flaffy wants to join us. Honestly, no. I want the money more. Thank you for the 3,000 gold. Jeez. We're definitely taking the Spinda. That is a free Spinda. I'll take me a free Spinda. I do wonder if you can get different types of Spindas. Since Spinda does have different face markings it can get um, in the normal games, I do wonder if you can run into multiple different types of Spinda. That'd be cool, honestly. I do know you can get Spinda from a um, strong Pokemon spawn. And you can get a shiny one as well. Good morning, Spooks. Good morning, Kraken. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> okay, let's see here. What's inside the the mailbox today? Silent Chasm, Stormy Sea. Yeah, nothing we need particularly. Let's go check up on Ekans real quick. See how he's doing. He's not here. Let's go check the post. Uh, the post. Uh, maybe he's over there. Maybe he has a mission in there or something. Ekans is here. Hello. What are you doing here? Oh no, Metacham went down. What should I do? If I went, I'd only last a little while. Oh no. Okay, so his mission is here then. Let's go grab that real quick so we have that. Wish Cave. This is Metacham. Rescue me. Please. The re reward is the secret. We'll grab onto that. Spooks read the SOS ma mail, apparently sent by Metacham. My name is Metacham. We had no trouble entering this dungeon, but it's horrible here. It's much too difficult. Ekans, he was defeated right away. It makes me want to scream. Somebody, please help me. The place is Wish Cave. The reward is a secret, but it's really very nice. You can be sure of that. The place in which Metacham is thought to have gone missing, Wish Cave is now open for exploration. So... With Wish Cave, I'm, um, there's going to be a catch to this one. I'm going to check how hard the Wish Cave is in between episodes. And if I see that Wish Cave is way too hard for me to deal with, we might not do it. We will do the Metacham mission. That is a for sure. But I don't know if I'll make it through the dungeon itself. So we will definitely be careful with that, since that is another 99 floor dungeon. But the thing is, is I noticed that you can bring all three of your teammates. So it might not be as hard, and it might not reset your moves. And if it doesn't reset my moves, I might actually be able to make it through with, it, with the move sets that I have built up throughout the game. And that's the reason why Purity Forest makes me so upset. Because I built all these att attacks up over the course of the game, and I spent multiple hours building it. Just for it to be ripped away for an entire dungeon, it's not something I like particularly, and I'm definitely skipping that dungeon. Northwind Field, let's head over and save Suicune now. Not sure how long it's going to take us to get through the Northwind Field particularly, but we are going to make our way through it though. Just as, just in case, because I'm pretty sure we can make it through here pretty easily. I don't, I'm not going to drop any of my money. I think we'll survive. 
particularly. It's only 6,000 gold. I can get it back pretty easily. Sludge Wave should be strong against these Pokemon. Any kind of um, Azumarill's that we run into should be pretty easy, honestly. 600 experience, not bad. Not bad indeed. But we could run into some pretty terrifying things while we're in here. Honestly, we don't know what we're running into yet. All we know is it seems like it's going to be ice types and water types. The reason why I say water types is because of Azumarill. And ice types because of... Well, obviously there's snow around us. So honestly, there could be some pretty nasty uh, ice types here. Play rough. I should have been very careful of that, honestly. I should have been expecting a play rough from a fairy type. Delcaddy. Really? De Delcaddy on this dungeon? Huh. Fancy. Fancy indeed. Would not expect a Delcaddy normally. But, mm, I see it. Double slap. Ow. Just ow. Get out of my face, please. Here, have a double waterfall. That means get out of my face big time. Another Azumarill. Can, can you walk towards me and not do that? Here, Kraken, you deal with it. You should be able to deal with uh, Azumarill pretty easily. I'm not sure why it used Aqua Ring. There is no way it's surviving two hits from Kraken. Oh, I've been slowed. I was wondering why that Del Delcaddy caught up to me. So everything has double slap here. Good to know, honestly. Don't like that too much, but what you gonna do, honestly? What you gonna do indeed? I'm gonna just turn back around and go this way. Since it looks like it's not on the left side of the... Or right side of the dungeon, I should say. Hopefully Waterfall Del... Yeah, it does. Okay, good. For a second, I was worrying that Waterfall wouldn't knock out Del Caddy even with my Torrent ability up. That would have been definitely something I should worry about. So far, honestly, not a bad dungeon. Scary, not gonna lie. Uh, Water Absorb. It always changes. Every time I run into a Poliwag, it's always either Water Absorb or its other ability. I always get that mixed up because of, uh, you just never know before you throw it out. Belly Drum. Huh. You're gonna do that, really? Okay. He's gonna try and hit me with as much power as he can. You could try, buddy, but, um, yeah, no. I'm not dealing with that. You can use Belly Drum all you want. Honestly, that would be a good ability on a boss, I think. I really do think that would be really good. Because you don't really have to worry about your belly while on uh, boss fights. So honestly, ooh, level 61, I'll take it. So honestly, using a move like that to get rid of most of your belly probably wouldn't even really affect you. And you could probably get away with um, some pretty massive damage because of it. There is Crowbound on this dungeon. Ooh, um, that could go wrong. That definitely could go wrong. And the reason why I'm saying that, oh, uh, oops, I forgot to change Septile's moves back. Well, I still have Iron Tail False Swipe for, from me trying to get that Mew. That is, that is actually what I used. I used a linked up version of Iron Tail and False Swipe. False Swipe, when you knock something out, it actually gives you um, a better chance at recruiting. So I maxed out as much um, of my recruiting as I could. I didn't have um, any of the special moves. I had squad up from a random Pokemon I got during the dungeon. And then I had a friend bow that I got from the uh, the solar cave that I said I would grab. And honestly, that did just all I needed. I just had to find, um, I think it was two Mews I had to run into in order to get it. Which, thankfully, I got two Mew spawns. It could have been worse. And it was on the same, um, same dungeon, too. So honestly, it was really good. Very, very good, the way I got it. Um... Don't know how Golduck is gonna... Okay. Doesn't look like Golduck's dangerous. Even though I know Golduck can get dangerous. Just because I know Golduck has some decent stats. I'm gonna go the other way because that Golduck's sleeping over there. So we're gonna go this way instead. Just so I don't have to get into an unneeded fight. Unneeded fights usually lead to um, dangerous situations. And... Obviously, you're going to run into a dangerous situation if you have more than more than a couple Pokemon in the same room with you. 
and it depends on if the Pokemon in the room have uh, multi-hitting attacks. Like, this uh, guy right here could have Surf for all I know. I don't know how much damage that's going to do to uh, Maggie, but it won't do too much to me, but Maggie has Sturdy, thankfully, so it won't one-shot her, but it could be very dangerous. So just in case, we're going to be very careful with what we do. I'm going to maybe put this um, Iron Spike on and register it. I'm going to start tossing these because I know how strong these can be. It's not going to one-shot, but it's definitely going to save me from using too many moves. Which is usually my problem in these dungeons, is that I use too much moves up and I either forget to bring in Max Ethers. And I just have to deal with it. Which could be a problem, but honestly, I can easily deal with it if I just set up correctly. Which I have been doing lately. We're gonna Water Pulse, get rid of this Crobat. And also my earlier um, problems was because I just didn't have any long range attacks. And now that I do, I don't have as many problems as I did originally. Because all my moves were like Tackle, basically. Short ranged moves that didn't do a lot of damage, as is Crawdon, and there's a sh there's a seed on the other side of the dungeon. Um, we're gonna check that out, actually. Sword Stance. I'm not letting you get close enough to me to use that, buddy. Heh, <laughs> you're confused. Nice try, buddy. Yeah, no Sword Stances around here. It's basically like I use Swagger on you. I'm gonna use this Eyedrop Seed. Let him come closer. See traps if there is any. This should be enough to deal with you. Anything we do is basically going to take you out. So honestly, get out of here, Crawdont. Okay. Let's see. Nothing here. But that doesn't mean that the stairs isn't in this general location. It isn't. Never mind. We're going to turn back around and go this way. It could be in the middle of the stairs on the right side, but it's not. And that's two, two traps I more than likely would have stepped into normally. Let's be honest. Tenth floor. Almost halfway. I don't like how um, every dungeon I can't move right away because of the whole diffusal. Which isn't the worst thing, but it's just that I'd like to be able to have control of my character like normal. They could let me move while telling me that it's diffused. I understand what that it's diffused. It's only for blast traps. That's what I found out. I didn't even know it was just for blast traps originally. I always thought it was just every single trap and then I ran into a trap. And then, yeah, um, didn't have a fun time with that. Got some nice sleep, um, status and, um, did not have a fun time. It was, it's, <laughs> you just gotta be careful. You gotta understand what the, uh, different statuses really do. And that is one status I just did not know about. I just couldn't figure it out until I randomly ran onto a trap and then I'm like, oh, maybe d diffusal doesn't actually mean what it means. Because usually diffusal means, hey, you diffused a trap. But not in this game. It's a completely different meaning now, apparently. Does Harden affect Iron Spikes? It seems like it does. Hmm. Good to know. Might use that knowledge for later. On a build or something. Maybe I can maybe make something that might be able to survive that. But honestly, I don't think so. Because I think it's just going to drop every stat I got. But, you know... Maybe, maybe Harden is good against that kind of stuff for throwables, because throwables are pretty dangerous in that Purity Forest dungeon. So maybe we might be able to throw Harden on and maybe make it through. But, I don't know. That could have just been a coincidence, honestly. That Harden happened to seem like it decreased the dam damage. Sandstorm in an icy dungeon. What? Okay, then. <laughs> uh, not gonna question it. Metapod. I already have a Caterpie and a Butterfree, uh, but hello. Um, don't need you, though. I don't think you're gonna give me any kind of damage that I need. Sandstorm is really weird in this kind of a dungeon. I'm really not gonna lie. That's weird. That's very weird. Huh. How does that work? Like, for real, how does that work? I'm gonna eat this citrus berry. That's gonna raise my, uh, my health indefinitely. We're definitely gonna take one of those for free. 
Uh, no, I don't want the Metapod. I really don't want it. You can take your Metapod and, uh, keep it. Another Sandstorm? Huh, that's weird. I would think rainstorms, but not sandstorms. Huh. This game really does, like, confuse me, doesn't it? It likes giving me, um... Now it makes more sense why there's sandstorms. This dungeon is weird. It really is. So I'm guessing we're gonna run into ground types from now on? Maybe? Let's see. No, that's a Poliwhirl. That's a Jinx, and that's a Volbeat. We could use a free uh, Earth Power. We can actually deal with everything in this room. Even though Volbeat technically flies, we still hit it, so down he goes. Nice try, though. Another Volbeat. Hmm. Not a bad area, honestly. I do like how it changed from the icy forest. This is, like, something completely new. I wish it was like this originally. Like, um, normally. Because the other area kind of looked like the frosty forest the entire time, if I'm going to be honest. So, honestly, this little area is actually pretty cool, honestly. I like the little ice coming off the, uh, off the little rocks and things. Let's see here. There's a, is that a perfect apple or a big apple? We're about to find out. Um, Max Elixir. It's a big apple. Hmm, can I pick it up? No, I'm too full. Of course I am. Um, let's see. What can we do here? Uh, Tunnel Wand. I want to take the big apple. I'm going to drink this elixir because I know I can. And then we're going to buy it. We have enough money for it. That's why I have the money. Just in case if I ran into something I might want, like an evolutionary crystal. Because those can be expensive. I haven't ran into one yet. But honestly, having more. And what did I almost step on? I Oh, a hunger trap. Um, could have been detrimental. But I have too many perfect apples to really worry about that. Hmm. So far, it looks like we're going to easily make it through this dungeon. But I don't know what's going to happen once we get through here. I don't know how hard Suicune's going to be. Because it's obviously Suicune at this point. And good thing I brought that invitation. If For anyone that thought I wasn't going to get this invitation to work... There's a second invitation set in stone. What's in here? Uh, any shinies? Nope, nothing shiny, but that's a Glaceon. I do not even have an Eevee. So taking a free Glaceon, I'll take it. We're going in here. Yoink. Um, Max Elixir, use that on Kraken so he can have Energy Ball back. We're going to eat the other Max Elixir because Maggie wants that. Oh yeah, don't I have enough? Yeah, I have leave half on Maggie now. So I actually get to keep... um. A little bit of what I eat, um, whatever I use now. Reviver Seeds, ooh, I'll take that. Um, there's no poison in this dungeon, so we don't need the Petcha Berries. That's something I'm noticing. So we're gonna grab these Reviver Seeds for free. We're also gonna munch on these apples. Oh no, they're perfect apples, we're taking them then. So we're gonna throw the... Do we have a regular? Yeah, we do have regular apples on the floor. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna eat these apples... We're going to fill our belly to 150. That's what we're going to do. And then we're going to eat one of the um, the perfect apples. And we're going to try and fill our belly completely. Oh wait, we don't have to eat the other apple. I'm going to eat the big apple though. I just want to make it so we don't have to eat any more. This should raise it enough, does it? Uh, didn't even raise it at all. What? Okay, I guess, uh, I guess that's not how that works. We're gonna grab these free Pokemon. We're gonna definitely take anything we can get for free. Notorious Restoration. Ooh, fancy. Wary Walk. I don't have Ice Flow Beach, so we don't get the Dugong. But we do get the Jinx. But I don't really need the Jinx. We might just sell her for money after we leave the dungeon. We might be able to get a nice 3,000 again. That's definitely something I'll take. And that was a free floor, basically. Definitely take those. We'll definitely take them. Definitely useful. That's a lot of definitely's back to back. Ooh, Delibird. Hello, buddy. You want to join me? I'll take a free Santa Claus. No? Okay. I might actually use, um... Uh... Oh, Shiftry. Oh, I guess it is called the Northwind... Northwind Field. I guess that makes sense. 
It confused me for a second. But now I understand it. I'm going to take the free pokey and I'm going to go to the next room. So far, nothing. Is this a deli bird over here? No, it's not. It's just a polyworld. Two polyworlds back to back. Wonder if they have water absorb. Do you have water absorb? No, you don't. But I can't, but I don't do too much damage, but I still can do decent damage to you. Which is honestly pretty good. Gonna eat this apple on the floor. We eat random apples on the floor here. Don't judge. <laughs> that sounds so stupid. Okay, let's get up to the 19th floor, shall we? If we see another deli bird, I'm gonna turn into Kraken, though. Because I'm definitely gonna use my uh, false swipe ability. Okay. So we need to push Kraken into this area. No. No hits. No hitting like that. Bad. Don't not- Kraken, you're lucky I like you. You're very lucky I like you. That is rude. I wanted to use your false swipe to get that deli bird. That is not what I wanted you to do. What is that? Oh, Poliwhirl. Um, here, have a water pulse. That should be decent damage to you. What's coming down the hallway? Is that another deli bird or is that... Nope, it's a shiftry. Okay, we'll deal with that normally then. Here you go, here have a water pulse. One dragon breath. Still alive somehow. But Maggie's got ya. You're definitely down for the count now. There is literally no way you're surviving that. Bug type moves through special through your special attack. Or e er, special defense. Ooh, Kraken. Okay. Kraken, don't knock out. Don't. Oh wait, he has false swipe. And he did two iron tails. Never mind. Um, what are you guys doing over there? Don't get yourself killed. Dugong, are you fine? I don't need you, but don't go down. Please and thank you. Okay, good. For a second, I thought Dugong was about to go down. That sounded like, um, Dugong getting hit, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't. I think that was it hitting other things. So as another trip trap. What is the point of that? Is it just to make me drop everything? Ooh, Vaporeon spawns here. Oh, cool. Okay. So we got a free Glaceon, but you can get Vaporeon here. That's pretty cool. Oh, where did... That random deli bird came out of nowhere. Where did he come from? Where did... Where in the world did that deli bird come from? I saw him get flung across, like, from somewhere else, I swear. Uh, no. I'm gonna let the Vaporeon awaken. The reason is, is because I'm going to try something. So what we're going to do, I keep forgetting to do this, but you can actually turn off uh, don't use moves. So we're going to make it so they can't attack. We're going to slide over here. Don't you dare use any kind of items. Thank you. We're going to use Iron Tail and False Swipe. This should allow us to get Dugong. Okay, guys, you know exactly what's going to happen. Do, 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 do. Get off my team. You're not allowed here. Get out of here. Bad. That's what you get. Okay. One. Okay, turn into Kraken. We're gonna try and get this guy at least. One energy ball shouldn't knock you out. Okay, it didn't. Good. We're gonna use Iron Tail Fall Swipe. This is so I can show you guys. I was trying to show you something. There we go. And there's your proof. Just full swipe uh, just gives you the extra ability just to get some pretty nice Pokemon. That's a free um, Blastoise for us later. And that's another free Mega. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I'll take it. Dude, gotta keep you alive, though, in order to keep you. So we do have to waste some Reviver Seeds, but honestly... Ooh, hello, Vaporeon. One Energy Ball should wake you up. Shouldn't knock you out, though. I'll take a free hit. Iron Tail and then a False Swipe should be enough, hopefully. It wasn't enough this time. So, we're definitely fine. I'm going to turn back my, uh, not move settings. I need to do tactics meetings. And we're going to actually turn everyone back to follow me. Because that's the one that I actually like using. And we're going to actually go right into the next floor. Not bad. Definitely... The not the worst scenario we've been in because 
we don't really get nice Pokemon that often. Usually we get like the ones that are like the weakest in the dungeon. And definitely a War Turtle is something pretty cool, honestly. Ow! That was a re late reaction, but that was mostly because I didn't notice it until it went off. Okay. Um, let's go left. Razor Leaf. Ow. None of that. Um, yeah, no. Don't hit me, please. Okay. He might still hit me because I pushed him forward. Please don't attack me with that move. Of course you did. It didn't hit me, though. But Kraken went down anyways. Ah, uh, shoot. How did you have enough special attack to knock out Kraken after using a move like that? Honestly. Shiftry wants to join us, though. Um, don't have one, so honestly, you know what? Sure. I'll take one, I guess. Kind of, um, not sure what we're gonna do here, though. Another war turtle. Um, Maggie, can you deal with that, maybe, please? Not sure how I'm gonna deal with it my by myself. I'm gonna use Earth Power to see what kind of damage I can do. Something's coming from behind us. It's another deli bird. What do you what is it with the deli birds? Um, energy ball should be enough to bring it over here. Earth power won't knock out the deli bird that I want. But Zap Cannon might. Oh, it's another deli bird. And another deli bird. Uh Hello, um, what's with all the deli birds? So, present forces deli birds to, um, teleport, it seems like. Huh. Did not know that. Did not know that indeed. Please don't knock out the deli bird. Thank you. This should be able to get him then. Iron tail, iron tail, and one false swipe. Did it get him? Yes, it did. Cool. I'll take me a free deli bird. Honestly, I really like deli bird. Wait, what the? Ooh. He's a good support Pokemon. Oh, that's cool. So he can teleport whenever he wants and just heal. I like you. I like you a lot. I really like you, Delibird. And that's a double heal because he got the double off. Oh, that's really good. Okay. I definitely like Delibird in this game a lot more than I normally do in the normal games. I'll definitely take a cool Pokemon like that. And it looks like there's nothing else in here except for us, basically. We've already dealt with every single Pokemon here. Unless my x-ray specs aren't working. Which they probably aren't, maybe? Maybe it got knocked off when I got tripped. I'm gonna check that real quick. Are my specs still on? Yeah, they are. Okay, so there is no Pokemon. Huh. That's surprising. So most of the Pokemon were Deli Birds. That's good to know. Ooh, the stairs. I'll take those. 24th floor. Here we come. Okay. Ooh, a Croconaw. I like that. I like that a lot. But it, I don't think we're gonna get it right away. We'll be we'll be careful. If we can get one, I'll try for it. But I'm not gonna get our hopes up because I'm pretty sure it'll have a um a harder chance of collecting. And also, I'm gonna try and make my way quicker through this dungeon now that we're reaching the hour mark. That I try and keep the videos to a minimum. Too. That's why I re another reason why I don't want to do two hour long purity forest runs and. Buried Relic Runs or whatever the dungeon that Lugia is in. I forgot what dungeon he's actually in. And hopefully we don't have to deal with a Leaf Storm from that guy. Present. Okay, so Deli Birds. They are dangerous to you and they are dangerous to me. Good to know. <laughs> I already knew that beforehand, but just in case. Just to get it in my skull that we might actually have to worry about... Ooh, there's some polyrafts down there. Um, Earth Power. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that. Um, keep your nice water-fighting selves away from me. Um, for all eternity. I do not like you ever since, um... What was his name? Uh, it's not Wall- Or is it Wally? It's the wa It's the guy with the polyrath from the Johto region. He's, uh, one of the gym leaders. I forgot his name. I might put a picture of him on the screen right around now. He'll be in, like, probably the bottom right, I think, is where I want him to be. Iron Spikes don't need them. They're not doing too much damage now. They're doing basically the same damage I do normally. Which is fine, but honestly, I don't want to waste attacks if I don't have to. 
And I was kind of hoping that would hit. Mind Reader. So his moves won't miss now. So if he's using something like, um, let's just say, something fun like Double Slap. That definitely sounds like a lot of fun. That sounds like the best fun I could ever have right there. <laughs> Honestly. I'm joking. That sounds terrifying. Honestly, he might actually be useful. How long does that last? That is my main question here. Because if it lasts the entire floor, I might be able to work with that. But I don't know if he has too many multi-hitting moves. Because yes, he does have that ability, but does he have the ability to do, um, like, hit, like, five times in a row? Because of him maybe having the attacks necessary. Like, I don't even, I don't think even, um, Swampert here even gets a multi-hitting move. That's why I don't use any of those. Because I just don't think he has one. And that is an apple I can't even use. Love those. Love those a lot, honestly. <laughs> Somehow, Energy Ball does not one-shot these things. I do not know how. Honestly, if I were to use a uh, Energy Ball with a... Uh, like, in any of the dungeons I've been in before, it would one-shot everything. Or even my attacks, normally. There's a Scope Lens. Um... Is it in the top right, or is it gonna be in the bottom section? Who knows, honestly. Um... Ooh, you have Water Absorb. Or something similar to it. Okay, so watch out for Politoads. They could have something that makes it so I can't even use Water-type attacks. Which we know for sure, it's just that I'm not sure which move it could- or which ability it is. It could be Rain Dish, it could be just anything, basically. Well, Rain Dish would be for Rain, but it could be changed in this game. I don't know what the abilities have been changed to, because some of them are different than they normally would be. Like, some attacks are different, like Belly Drum. Instead of your health going down, you actually lose your stomach instead. So, there definitely is some moves that are a lot different than the, their normal counterparts. So, just in case, we'll be careful. Hmm. Poly... Oh, for a second I thought Polyrath wanted to join me because of how long it took him for him to actually go down and let me move. What was that? Oh, it's a summon trap. Um, Earth Power? Oh yeah, I forgot. This is another thing that spawns in the Purity Forest. Grudge Traps and Summon Traps. Those are my favorite. Those are actually my favorite. When you have to worry about not being able to attack and War Turtle just got knocked out. Don't know what you're dealing with over there, War, War Turtle, but I'm pretty sure that was a Polyrath knocking you out. Could be. Another War Turtle wants to join me. You know what? Join me in case the other one goes down. I was kind of hoping the Croconaw would join me too. There's the stairs. Only one more stairs to find. I would like a pure seed, but I don't have one. I used my only one that I had left after the Sky Tower raid. Um, on... What are you doing to him? That was a really weird ability. Okay. But I used all my... Um, pure seeds on the sky tower and then my final one was used on the buried relic and after that i haven't had a single one um at all i'm completely dry of pure seeds ever since the buried relic and that was actually like not that long ago but honestly <laughs> i could have gotten enough in time honestly usually i have like a stack of like 20 in the previous games per dungeon just because I go out and grind, um, grind, actually I did the same amount of grind for this game. And I just didn't get as many pure seeds as I normally would. I guess the spawns are lowered. They could be, more than likely. That would make sense. I do wonder what the other ability on these Politoads are. Because sometimes they survive my attacks and sometimes they, um, or not, sometimes they water absorb, I guess. And sometimes they have something else entirely. And we're finally on Suicune, I th think. Halt! Why are you here? Uh, no clue, honestly, buddy. <laughs> Clear embracing air, crystalline pure water. To stand guard over this beautiful and untainted land, that is why I'm here. 
Hello, Suicune. Trying to be fabulous like always, I see. I am Suicune, one who runs with... It didn't even let me read that. Intruders foul in air with their outside ills. There is but one solution for invaders. Expulsion by force. Here I come. Okay. Here you come, buddy. You could try. Don't know what kind of moves you have, so I'm gonna be careful. Rain dance. Um, I'm gonna get up close and personal. You have Ice Fang. That could be dangerous. How much damage does a waterfall do? 139 damage. No blast seeds for you. Definitely the case. I wish I had thunder now, because that would definitely help. Not sure what kind of uh, perils we have to really worry about. And Delibird might actually really help us here, because of his present ability. Oh, don't go there though, buddy. You do not want to be standing there. That's an Ice Fang waiting to happen. We're doing way too much damage to this poor Suicune. I think we're over leveled for this, uh, for this boss. We'll find out immediately after. Oh wait, we can't even recruit him yet. We have to actually beat um, the quest first before we can even recruit any of the these Pokemon. So honestly, <laughs> I don't I don't think we'll find out your level until like later. Until I think we have to beat Ho Oh before we actually can see it. So yeah, we won't even see it until like my next time I can record. Because I just got lucky and I was able to record today. But down goes Suicune. Raikou and Suicune and Entei are all down now. Ah, have I lost? I admit it, you are strong. Well, you're d d gonna help us with this now. Uh, this. The Sunset Wing. I see. You came seeking the Remirage Pokemon. Step back. Okay. What are you gonna do to it? wonder what you can make it look different. Let's see. Ooh, that's a nice color. I like that rainbow wing. The north wind swirled around the sunset wing. The sunset wing transformed into the rainbow wing. That is really nice to look at. That is very aesthetically pleasing. Glittering in the seven colors of the rainbow. The wing is beautiful beyond description. It really is, honestly. This rainbow wing, it is the key to meeting the Mirage Pokemon. Take this wing. Take it to the mountain so high that its peak is obscured by clouds. Yes, take it to the far mount far away. The Mirage Pokemon is at its peak. Team Sentinels received the Rainbow Wing. And gained access to Mount Faraway. Okay, so we finally have Ho-Ho's dungeon. And we can finally go confront him. And that'll probably be what we do in the next episode, actually. And we might start on... The Wish Cave mission. Actually, we might do the Wish Cave and then Ho-Oh. I think that's what we'll do because Ho-Oh's is going to take a while. And then we can probably end off with Ho-Oh. That's probably what we'll do. We'll save Metacham first and then deal with that. So Spook successfully made it through the Northwind Field. Glaceon wants to join your team and has Notorious re Restoration. We're taking that. That is a free evolution and we're taking free evolutions. War Tortle, that is a definite take as well. Welcome to the team, buddy. We're taking both of them, actually. Because that means we get to keep one War Tortle, and then we get to get a Blastoise. So honestly, I'm taking that. And a Free Shiftry, that's a free Evolutionary Stone Pokemon. I'm taking that. And a Deli Bird is always nice to have. You can join me, and we are actually going to nickname him right away. Because I already know what perfect name he has. Here you go. This is an easy one. You guys already know what I'm probably going to type. Let's be honest. There we go, Santa. Welcome to the team, Santa. <laughs> we won't use you, but you can stay with us, buddy. Another War Turtle. That's definitely staying. As I said, free Blastoise. Get to keep a War Turtle. Now we just need a Bul um, I almost said Bulbasaur. <laughs> we only need a uh, Squirtle now. And we'll be fully set with the uh, Squirtle like evolutionary line that's always cool okay anything new from kraken if not we can end this one off uh good morning spooks same as always pelipper didn't show up this time so i'm guessing when you have four things in your inventory or in your mailbox he doesn't show up anymore unless he gives you a makihito dojo ticket which definitely seems to be the case we're gonna look around town just in case actually these guys have been standing here for a while 
I'm going to see if there's anything special. Bronze rank. Really? You were bronze rank that entire time? Normal rank. We were higher rank level than you guys. Wow. And you were silver rank. They sent these guys, these bozos before they sent us. And we were gold rank at the time. I'm a little upset about that, honestly. They called us weak. And we were ten times stronger than them. Wow. Just wow. But, as always, this is where we're going to be ending this one off. And actually, talking about team ranked, I'm team platinum now. So, as always, keep being spooky. Thank you for watching. And in the next one, we will be finishing off the Metacham Witch Cave mission. And we will also be finishing off the mission with Ho-Oh. And we'll be starting on the last couple missions. There's only a couple left. We have the Lugia quest. We have the ending of the Ho-Oh quest. Actually, I can show you, actually. If we go to the main screen, I'll tell you what we actually have left. There's a couple bosses. I'm going to keep the bosses that we haven't ran into yet. Or the ones I haven't said anything about. Um, a secret. But I will say one thing. Deoxys is a boss in this game. I actually did find out that. Mostly because I was very curious about the meteorite and I had to wait around just to record and I didn't want to just sit here and not know what's going on. So I did do some little bit of research on my own and I found out that Deoxys is indeed a Pokemon that is a boss and he is actually one of the picture ones I think. There's also a Gengar mission we will eventually get into but we don't unlock that until after the Wish Cave. Um, not Jirachi though. Jirachi in the Wish Cave we don't have to worry about beating in order to get the final mission. Because technically the Gengar mission is technically, I guess you could say the final mission. Because it's basically the end of the story that we had with Gengar in the first place. And then, um, yeah, we're almost done. The only thing I need to do in order to unlock Lugia is a is defeat all the three legendary bird trio. Which I'm doing in my own time and then I'm going to record um, a past spooks event. For that and then um have that set and ready for when i actually go and do the lugia stuff so as always keep being spooky thank you for watching and in the next one we will be finishing off um some more loose ends so thank you all for watching see you all tomorrow peace out hey boys and girls thank you all for watching today's episode if you liked what you saw today please leave a like and maybe even subscribe and hit the bell notification down below if you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out, guys.